Hi, welcome back to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt Troutman. Genius Lounge is a place where you can learn about the technology that you already have. Today, we're gonna look at the Google Photos app a little further in depth and see how we can use it to help organize ourselves in association with Kathy Lip and the Clutter Free Academy. Today, we're gonna continue in the Clutter Free series. And first off, the, the thing that I think most people want to know is when they're looking for a picture of someone or something, that they can find that particular picture. Well, Google Photos does a great job of tagging those photos automatically for you in the background. It does a lot of things automatically. So let's go ahead and take a look at Google Photos and see what it can do for us in terms of finding people. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google Photos. And you'll notice I'm on the main photos tab here on the lower left-hand corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and tap on albums. Albums is gonna show me all of the different automated albums as well as the albums that I can create here. And one of the things that I'm most interested in is I wanna make sure that I don't miss a picture of my son or of my wife. The really awesome part about Google Photos is, is that once it's up in the cloud, they use Google's cloud learning platform to detect particular faces and group those together. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap people. And then if I tap myself here, I can see all of the different photos that have been taken of me. Now, likewise, I can go and I can look at pictures of my son and I can scroll down here and I can see all these different pictures. Now at the top here, if you don't have a name for the person, you can add a name. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tell it that this is Truett. And it shows that it's found 67 photos and videos of Truett. This right here is one of my favorites. So if I want to, I can click the share button right here and it will give me some different options for sharing that to some contacts. Or I can use one of the various apps on my phone and share that in that particular app or through that service. So the other thing you can do is you can search for particular keywords. So tree or boat, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to type in tree here and see if it has found any pictures that have trees in them. And sure enough, here's a picture of a tree with a rainbow going right behind it. Now the other thing that you can do is you can combine these. So I can say things like mat and tree, and it will show pictures that it thinks have me and a tree in it. So this one right here does happen to have a tree behind us and I am also in that picture. So Google Photos is a fantastic way to organize those photos and you really didn't even have to do anything to get them organized. Makes it super easy to search. So that's a quick overview of facial recognition and object searches in Google Photos. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notifications each time we post new content. Thank you so much for joining us. My name's Matt Troutman and we'll see you next time on Genius Lounge.